Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and we are on what's probably going to be our last cleanout of old Arnold. So I am trying to get the rest of the dirt in this corner. It's proving very difficult to get, actually, because it's down in a a fairly deep hole here. Um, I was going to just bring the front loader in kind of scoop the stuff off the bottom but I can't really get the front loader in here because it are you know not very well anyways because it just kind of dips down into the hole so I carved a little bit of a spot up here and then you know put the backhoe up there or I'm sorry the excavator <laughs> up there to to try and get as much of the rest of that dirt as I could now this little corner you guys I had 110 ounce clean out from this corner when when I was really you know digging it when it still had a lot of dirt in it just the absolute best that's 20 ounces better ish than I've ever had from anything else on old Arnold and I wasn't you know I wasn't recording at the time if I would have known or anticipated that I was going to get that much I would have caught it on camera but I just didn't so and I haven't gotten another one that good since so that's why I'm kind of just trying to get as much of the rest of the dirt out of that corner as we can. There's still a few decent spots left on the ramp. And I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do one more, you know, of those two or not. I haven't really decided yet. Um, but we're going to try and pull as much dirt out of that corner as we can. We, we have 35% already in the wash plant there. I just finished having to repair my... Um, the planter hose I, I had a planter hose go out that's the second planter hose that I've had go out so far and I, I bought a few more parts at the the store too I had to run into town because it's you know thundering out so we can't use the PDA for that and I bought a few more parts of things that I think might be going out just because they haven't gone out yet or haven't gone out in a long time uh, but we'll see how things go so yeah the plan is to dig out the rest of that corner and get one more full plant's worth of dirt and then do that clean out and then at that point I'll have to decide if I want to do one more or if we should just wrap it up we really we only have a little over an hour left uh, in this day anyways and then you know it's gonna be the first day of winter um, so yeah I have 346 ounces of gold and I had one full bucket of magnetite that I already dumped in the plant since I was going by there anyway and, um, you know, I just want to make sure we have plenty of, of overhead to do the move and everything that that involves. And if, um, if possible, maybe even buy one of the, um, the rock pumps, too. We, we're not, I, I don't think we'll have enough money to buy, but, well, I, I know we're not going to have enough money to buy both rock pumps uh, at the same time. On the other hand, though, you know, we can sell the planters... It's a possibility that we could get them both, but I don't know. We'll see. But even if we could get one, you know, then we're going to start on Nighthawk with a rock pump, a Tier 5 rock pump, and the Tier 5 Trommel. And, you know, that's a pretty good, you know, start to things. So, yeah, these uh, these other ones I have marked here on the ramp, they're okay. They're not, like, super good, but they're okay. They're not terrible. So if, if we do one more clean out after this, we're just going to hit that quick and easy with the front loader this is going to be the last time i'm going to fight with this corner because it it really is a pain in the butt <laughs> to get in here and try and get this dirt out of here just because it's just in a, such a weird spot um so let's go ahead and park the dump truck there and flip over to the excavator here uh all right yeah so let's Let's pull as much more of this dirt out of here as we can. Uh, one of the things I bought were uh, more teeth because, you know, we keep hitting this hard ground and I don't know how, you know, well my teeth, uh, the teeth on the bucket are holding up. So, oh, that's kind of in a weird spot. I'm, I have the, I have the boom up as high as it'll go. Um, trying to get the arm out, but I, I got it nice and stuck inside of there, didn't I? Okay. There we go. We might need to 
pull the dump truck forward a little bit. Why don't we do that? Let's try it right about there. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Um, so yeah, then uh, the next step, of course, is to get ready to move to Nighthawk. Well, we got to put our equipment in storage for the winter first. Because, um, you know, I, I talked about this before, but for those of you who don't know, you don't want to leave your stuff out in the winter because then all of the parts on it that can get broken will get broken, and it can be quite expensive to have to replace everything all at once. So obviously we don't want that to happen. So we'll work on getting stuff put away uh, into storage. I believe things like our, our excavator and our dump truck, our machinery that we operate, not the plant stuff, but the other stuff, we could probably just park in the, in the shed um, or we could have it transported to Nighthawk and then stored it at Nighthawk. Um, Maybe we'll do that because I'd like to I'd like to actually show you guys Nighthawk first of all uh, be, before we you know we'll run out there and at least take a look at it before we sleep for the winter or hibernate or hang out at the hotel or whatever how you want to however you want to say that <laughs> um, so we'll go take a look at it and you know maybe we move our at least some of our equipment out there now and then just store it in the uh, shop out there. As long as it's in the shop, then it'll be fine. You just don't, like I said, want to leave it out in the open. All right, so, whoops, wrong button. I'm going to I'm gonna buy the rest of the, um, I don't know what you call them, perks, I guess, or upgrades, the things that allow you to, you know, do local, I mean, sorry, remote transportation orders, and um, I'll probably get fast travel. Uh, I mean, I kind of don't like fast travel because it's not very realistic, but the thing is, is Nighthawk is going to be really far away. It's probably about as far away as Haynes as you can get. So, you know, if something breaks down and there's a thunderstorm out, we have a really long drive back to town to try and replace it. And, you know, if we have fast travel, then then we can just do it that way. I know it's kind of cheesy, but... Oh, I keep hitting that daggone exit button. But we'll probably get it. I may not use it all of the time, but if I'm in one of those situations where we have a breakdown and I just don't want to mess with driving back to town, I'll, you know, I'll, I would use it in those situations. And, you know, of course, we're going to be able to afford it anyway, so we might as well get it and get all of the all of the rest of the goodies that the game has to offer. But also, like I said, the, the transportation, the remote transportation one, that's going to be good because uh, I'm going <laughs> to have to remap that key. Um, uh, because that one's going to be useful. That means now what happened? Oh, the ice. Okay. What that means then is, you know, if we need to transport something, we don't have to go to the machinery shop in town to do it. We can do it, you know, from our uh, our tablet. Well, assuming we don't got a bunch of thunder going on, which I got to tell you, maybe I've complained about this already. I don't know, but the whole thunderstorm thing causing your PDA not to work, it isn't fun. It's not fun gameplay. I don't appreciate it. It sucks. And the thunder happens a lot. <laughs> it's not just every once in a while, man. It's like, darn near every time I turn around and I need to use that thing, it's thundering out. So I don't, yeah, I don't appreciate it. You know, it's just not fun. It doesn't add to, to the enjoyment of this game for me. I don't care how realistic it may or may not be. So anyway, just throwing that out there. Okay. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even can probably even consider fast travel, but it just makes the game too tedious. Make 
sure that's all the way up. I don't really... I tried to drive down in there with the backhoe, but it just puts me at a really bizarre angle. And it, you know, because it's not... The, the tracks aren't engaged fully with the ground. It, you know, it you shift all over the place, and it's just not... It's more trouble than it's worth. So that's why I'm, you know, trying to get at it from up here. But I wanted to get as much more of the dirt in these two spots as I could because, like I said, that's the best dirt, hands down, that I have seen on Old Arnold. So it's kind of, I think, worth grabbing if possible. And it's really hard for me to get a full bucket load, too, just because of the angle and where everything is at. So I just grab what I can and put it in the dump truck. Okay, so let's come down here. I th think it's really hard to see, but I think we have... Okay, hold on. There we go. Yeah. Didn't get a full bucket load there, either. The light's not the best either. Okay, what if we go down here? Okay. That was a halfway decent scoop. Okay, let's try and grab some of this. Yeah, yeah, I know the teeth are... Man, did we get any at all? Oh, uh, yeah, we got some. Okay. A little more than I thought we did. Yeah, it's just... It's too... The terrain is too undulating and uneven down there for me to get the backhoe... Or not the backhoe, the front loader down there and get a decent scoop. So that's why we're using the excavator. Getting the rest of that stuff on the ramp, if we do decide to do one more cleanout, will be easy peasy. Man, I don't even know if we got any in the any more in the dump truck on that one or not. Um I don't think going up higher up this little ramp's gonna really do anything for us. Can we get another scoop from here? Yeah, that was that was a decent scoop. Still not a full bucket, but not too bad. That right, brings us up to 89. Let's try that again. Maybe right along here. There we go. What if we do this? Can we see a little better? There's a little chunk right here. Okay. Could still have that dump truck out a little more than it is, but... All right, now, if we extend this as far out as it'll go and bring it down, can we scoop a little more of that? Yeah, not too bad. Ninety-eight. All right, let's try getting one more. Uh, how about all the way out and straight down here? All right, that's not a very big bucket load, but maybe it'll be enough to get us to 100 here. 
Oh, for goodness sakes. Really, game? <laughs> Dad, gone it? All right. Just a little scrape a doodle around there. There's some right down here. If we could. Okay, bring it up. Bring it in. Bring that out. Hit the wrong button, as usual. Yeah, I just can't quite. There we go. Man, those poor teeth. <laughs> okay. There we go. We got our hundred. All right, I think we're done. Um, I just, I mean, we got the we got the lion's share of it. There's still a, a few chunks there, but I just can't reach it from here, and I don't think driving down into the pit's gonna be viable. We could try it one more time, I suppose. Let's go get this dumped off first, though. I don't think this will... No, this definitely won't give us a full plant. How much do we have in there? Oh, yeah, only 35%. Nope, this won't. We do have a full D-Rocker, though, so one more dump truckload after this, and then we can run the dirt. But even with that, it's still, I don't think, going to fill us all the way up. It's going to get us close. So we still have a few more dump truck loads to go here. Let's turn the conveyor off. You have to kind of have a balance between uh, running the plant and bringing the dirt to the plant, but not running the plant 100% of the time because it just, you know, wears things out. It uses fuel and wears things out. I don't really care so much about the work lamps. And then, you know, you end up losing time because you have to stop and repair stuff, especially if you have to go into town to get the parts. That's a total waste waste of time there. Well, I shouldn't say waste of time, but a loss of time. On the other hand, if you only run the machine while you're set standing in front of it, then, well, you're standing in front of it for a long time and not being as productive. So that's why I say it's a bit of a balance. So if we, you know, the other thing I remember too when I did try and drive in there is there's just not a, there's not enough room to move the body of the excavator. Um, and so, you know, when you're trying to swing around, the back end of it hits the wall. Okay, so if we park here and go into digging mode, yeah, see, I'm, I'm hitting the wall there, and now the back end of it's hitting the wall there. Yeah, it's, it's a pain in the butt, man. It really is. It's not as simple as it might seem. Oh, all right, yeah, I'm, I think I'm done fighting with this. I really do. Now I'm like stuck. <laughs> oh, I guess I had the brake on. Okay. Well, uh, let's move the tracks this way. Okay, now let's move you this way. There. Yeah, this should get us out. I mean, I know I could drive in and then scoop it and then drive out, but that's just going to take way too long. I don't have that much patience. You know, this thing really does not handle inclines as well as I think it should. It just barely can make it up a hill. Just seems to me like a 
a, a tracked machine with the horsepower that this thing has should not have that much trouble going up a hill. Especially when it doesn't even have a load in it. Well, anyway, I think when we're finished with the excavator, we don't need it for any of the, the ramp there, because that's all just going to be front loader work there. But I'm going to leave it out here anyway, just in case, until we're all the way done. So we'll just kind of park it over here for now. Come on, you slow boat. That should be good. All right, we'll start hitting the ramp now. So let's turn and take this over, park it on this side. Park it here, that should be good. Okay, let's get this guy filled up. Which one of these squares is the best square? That's got 218 ounces, 188, and most of the gold's down at the bottom on that one. This gold is kind of in the middle. This one has 224, most of the gold's at the bottom. This has 257. So actually 313 is the best square, right? This one's not too bad either. Yeah, let's focus on these two squares right now. Oh, we should also flip this over so we can see what we're doing here. I guess I can look over there even though I'm turned away from the button. How about that? Magic. Either that or I have a neck like an owl. Alright. Let's get a nice little bite out of this. Okay, I think when we come back, we're going to park the dump truck um, at, uh, perpendicular to the bank there, so we don't have to turn quite as much on the truck. Oh yeah, we'll park it this direction, but a little closer, of course. Economy of movement is important in this game, if you want it to... Mine as quickly as you can, as efficiently as you can. Okay, so this will give us uh, three dump truck loads. So we're going to run this dirt through the plant. But like I said, I don't think that's going to get us all the way full. We're probably going to have to do another dump truck or two to get it completely full. And then I think we're going to wrap, wrap up the digging on old Arnold. That's what I'm thinking. We should have plenty. I mean, we, we already have $725,000, you know, just in money alone. And that 300 and some odd ounces of gold is going to get us back up to the million mark. So we should have plenty of money for the move. 
Uh, it's just a question of, will we have enough money for the move and enough money to buy one of the rock pumps? I don't know. If we don't, we don't. But we'll do we'll do what we can. Another daggone button got destroyed. What the heck, man? Okay. Let's put this over here. And we have one here that's... I think this was a repaired one, so it's not at 100%, but... Come on, plant. Hold together for this one last clean-out. You can do it, baby. You can do it. All right, guys. I will bring you back when we're ready to do our final clean-out. All right, guys. We are back, and we are full. But I got to thinking, and I think I'm going to do one more clean-out after this one. Uh, because we've got, we still have three pretty good spots here and they're very easy to get to. So it'll, it, it'll take me no time at all to dig those out. Uh, because I just want to make sure we have enough money. I, th I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try and buy both of the tier five, um, pumps or jigs. So the gravel pumps now, and the reason for that is because this is the best time to buy those. They're the price is the cheapest at this time of year. Um, and I still need to make sure we have enough money af even after purchasing those to, you know, pay for all the fees to transport, pay for the upgrades on the parcel so we can have, you know, the maximum amount of machines and all of that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think I think we are going to do two more cleanouts. So uh, if you look right now, we have 346 ounces in the upper right hand corner. I think I'll do this clean out off camera and then do the final dig and fill up the plant again. And then I'll bring you guys back for the actual final clean out of the episode. Okay. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. We are pretty much finished digging here. I believe, uh, I'm just going to get one extra bucket load since I have some left over in the bucket and we have a full dump truck load too so yeah that's pretty much what we dug out right there that you can see and that's going to give us one additional clean out we have 413 gold now the last episode or not episode i'm sorry the last segment we had 346 so i think that means that uh 50 i think that was 60 Seven. Yeah, I think that was 67 ounces, if I did that math right. Maybe, who knows? Maybe I didn't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's 67 ounces. So anyway, let's drive the bucket uh, up first, and we'll just dump this in the conveyor, and then we'll bring the dump truck up. And this should be our final cleanout on old Arnold. Uh, oh, that's actually already full. Okay, so here, let's just leave that there for the moment. And we'll start the plant up. How close are we? We're at 67%. Yeah, probably. I think we'll hit it. It's going to be really close, actually. If we need to go do one more dump truck load, we needed to go do one more dump truck load. It's not that big a deal. But it's going to be close, so let's just see what happens here. Oh, by the way, my D-Rocker jet busted, so I had to order that and get that thing fixed. But fortunately, there wasn't any thunder out at the time, and there still isn't at the moment. Let's run back in here for a second. I want to look at a couple things here. So the price right now is twelve twenty-eight. so it's dropping a little bit, but it's still very good. Um... I I just don't really see the point in paying twenty thousand dollars for this because buying heavy machinery is something you only do on a uh, on occasion. So why why is it so important to do that from your PDA? You know I I don't understand that. I don't get that. But um notification. So whoops, this costs ten grand. But I mean I don't know exactly what that means because I. I already get notifications if something breaks down. So I'm not sure what that is. If you guys know what this is and if it is worth getting, let me know in the comments if you would. I, I think I'll hold off on that. I guess I have already purchased the transport, so this is good. This is the thing I really wanted to get, and apparently I already have it, which is awesome. 
Um, so let me know if this is worth getting. I just don't see the point in this. Un unless we get to a point where we're just filthy rich and we want to order another Frankenstein or something from our our parcel. But, yeah, um, I'm definitely not going to get this right now. But this, if you guys tell me this is worth getting for ten grand, let me know. And also, please let me know what it does because I don't know what it even does. Because we already get notified, you know, when something breaks down. So I'm not really sure what the deal is there. Anyway, let's go ahead and dump this bucket in here. Excellent. Okay. And then we're just going to actually take the front loader. And I'm just going to park it over here for now. We don't even need to take it back down into the pit. Very good. All right. Now, let's go to the dump truck and get that up there. Well, I guess actually if we don't get a full plant, we will need to bring the loader back down here for one more load. Oh, I suppose I could just use the excavator, but I don't know. We'll see. Front loader's going to be a lot faster. Let's just hope we, we can get a, a full plant out of this. We probably will. But, like I said, it's going to be pretty doggone close. Yeah, we will. Oh, we definitely will. Yeah, we're already at 87%. We haven't even dumped this load yet. In fact, we're going to have a little bit left over, so I have to decide if I want to, depending upon how much it is, if I want to run that through the plant too. We'll see. Okay, let's turn the dump truck off. We have 88% in there, 64% in there. Yeah, it'll probably be worth running running the remainder of the dirt through. I mean, we're not going to get a lot more gold, but we'll get a little more. Okay, Miner's Moss has just been swapped and should roll 100 right now. There we go. Just a couple more seconds to flow on down, and then we'll turn that off. Okay, so this is our final full clean-out <laughs> on old Arnold. And then we'll have a, a partial after this. Okay, so let's get the upper sluice done first and see what we get out of here. I don't really... I can't really gauge for sure how much I think we're going to get, but I'm going to say probably around 60 to 70 ounces. It's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be any, any anywhere near like 90 or that 110 ounce clean out that we got. That was just, I couldn't believe it. That was like, are you kidding me? Um, it's pretty, pretty darn amazing. And that was all from that dirt in the corner, you know, um, some of the richest dirt on the plot all the way back in the corner there. So yeah, I'm guessing 60 to 70 for this one here. And I think that will give us enough money then to buy both of the gravel pumps and and still have enough money left over to do, you know, all the other stuff that we need to do. Pretty sure that it will. I mean, if it if it doesn't, we always have the option of temporarily taking out a loan if we have to. I'd rather not do that, but whoops. Because I'm sure it won't take us too long to recoup that on Nighthawk once we get there. All right, let's get that started. We'll move the, oh, let's turn the water off too. Move the planter buckets over and get those ready to go.
One of the nice things about the gravel pump is it only has they only have one bucket, so you don't even need uh, two buckets. Where are we at? Okay, so we're at four thirteen. Start dumping these in. Sixteen point two seven ounces. Okay, so yeah, based upon that, again, I'm I'm gonna stick with my guess of sixty to seventy ounces here. Okay, we'll start dumping you in there. And let's put the mats in here. Those are all at 2%. Okay, let's run the, the hog pans. Then we'll start loading these up. I do have a new worker on this hog pan, but he's only level one, so he can't do all four mats. Fifty-six percent magnetite. Yeah, we should. We'll probably end up with sixty-five to seventy magnetite too, which, of course, will help quite a bit. Also, with money, that's just gravy money now, man. All right, last bucket from this. Turn that off for the moment. If these machines don't have a bucket underneath them, they don't you don't lose any material. It just doesn't do anything until you put a bucket in place. I don't think that's that's probably not realistic, but it's the way it works, so it does help you speed things up a little more. These will go in here. We got twenty one yeah, that's pretty low for the planters. Uh, that one that I got 90, or I'm sorry, I got 110 ounces on the planters did like 35 ounces. That's very high for, for these planters on this parcel. When I saw that, I knew it was gonna be a big payout. Sorry I didn't catch that on camera, guys, but I wasn't expecting it to be that high and it was just, you know, kind of cruising along and it's like, oh my goodness. Can't believe we just made that much. But I, I've said this before. I expect that 110 ounce cleanouts are going to be probably fairly normal on Nighthawk. Especially once we get fully upgraded to Tier 5. In fact, we might even consider that to be a, a low, you know. We'll see. Depends upon the you know the dirt too that we're in, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a better job of trying to stick with the good dirt this time around. We're not gonna just dig any in any old location. Um, you know we may have to dig in some bad dirt to get to the good dirt. You know, like make ourselves a roadway or whatever. But we're not going to dig in poor dirt any more than necessary to get to the good stuff. That is the plan anyway. Oh, we got snow. It's winter time, ladies and gentlemen. It is winter time. Wow. 1,321 ounces earned today. How about that? Okay. Look at that. We got snow. How about that? All right. That threw me off. Where are we at? Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Okay, so we can put this bucket over here. Nice. The first snow, well, the first snow accumulation. Snow's actually been falling for a long time now, but it hasn't accumulated on us. 
All right, we'll put this here. It's 31 degrees Fahrenheit, so one degree below freezing. So that's not terribly cold. It's cold, but it's not terribly cold for Alaska anyway. Um, all right, so let's see. We need to put these mats back up here. Let's see what our final tally is. Hopefully I don't slip on the, the slippery steps now. We got... Uh, oh, no, that's the magnetite. I was going to say, wait, 399 ounces? What do you mean? Hopefully my wave table doesn't freeze. I don't think it would. Well, it could in real life. I just don't think it would in the game. Just game mechanics don't work that way. 28 ounces of gold. Okay, so we started with 413, right? So if it was 473, that mean, means we made 60, but it's so 66. We made 66 ounces off that. Okay, so I figured it would be between 60 and 70, so it's pretty close. 